hello hello beautiful aries i feel like i just need to get going in your space i have your scoring channeled messages that i always take a picture of posted on my community page um on youtube as well as on my instagram but i will get to that i will get to that sorry um I just feel like I need to just go, like shuffle, go. I don't even want to like get into my introduction. I already said my prayer, my thanks. I don't know, there's something about your energy that's just like you're ready to walk through some doors and that was also a channeled message that I received from you. Um, I mentioned that you're anticipating walking through some doors that you have created, that you have casted out. You're casting out a door that's interesting because now you are not a separate aspect from the creator archetypal energy now you are the magician there's some kind of perception here that you have aries that you need help manifesting or that you need help creating or that you you know sometimes yes we do need help absolutely there's no shame in asking for help but i feel like you're really stepping into your power and really understanding that you are and you can embody um, in a sense of wholeness, this archetypal energy of the magician, the creator, or the, co the co-creator, rather. I feel like you're casting out a door. Okay, and, um, okay, the visions that I receive are, are symbolic, obviously. I received two visions for you. Um, yeah, one on February 12th. Sorry, let me just, you know, not saying this. I wrote all of this down. <laughs> I saw, um, so the very first vision that I received for you was on February 12th. And I saw a magician in the mirror. A couple days, magician in the mirror. A couple days passed on February 15th at about 2, a, 2 a.m. My feet started vibrating and then I saw another vision of the magician opening what looked like a garage door and you were there and you stepped in and you integrated with the magician. So you're walking through doors right now. Something doesn't feel like I feel like you're you're creating wholeness for yourself right now. I, I keep seeing that casting out doors. Have you guys ever watched um again my visions are symbolic and I have the capability of seeing energy. Um the energies that are unseen so i can describe how energy is working through you and and with you um but i will do my best to bring down the energies like bring them down to earth um have you guys ever seen the witcher and there is this like um part of the witcher where oh my god i forget, forget her name I can't believe I'm forgetting her name. I have like all the books here. Um, anyways, uh, she she casts portals, like passageways. I'm seeing that because you're casting out doors, meaning you are creating new doorways for yourself. You're creating new opportunities for yourself and you're going to walk through them. But energetically, energetically, I'm seeing like the energies that you are like, whether you're wishfully thinking them, whether you are like, this is a dream, whether this is um, you planning and preparing that energy in the unseen world, I'm seeing it like be casted out and open doors. And the doors, I just heard the doors are fixed. Meaning like they're fixed in, in place, right? You're walking towards the doors. There's an, okay, that's an interesting one. Life of the party just popped out. Life of the party, number 39. I just heard, I want you. Okay. Which is 12, 39 is 12. Um, I'm getting a message and we'll get to your love message in just a moment, like later. 
Um, I'll timestamp it in the comment section down below once we flow into that space. Um, some of you may get a drunk text or like a drunk message. But I just heard, I want you. You hear easy does it, number 17. Yeah, this is dream right here. And it feels, I see the dream is unfolding. It's opening. It's blooming. The dream is coming to life here. Easy does it. Yeah, you're casting out a dream. That's what I'm seeing here. The, the energy from the dream is being casted out. You're casting doors. And those doors are fixed. Okay. No strings attached. One more. Um, I was going to say something. The fishbowl. Sorry, one second. I'm really trying to remember. Wow. Okay, the fishbowl. And here you have good fortune with the fish. See that fish? I'm taking that. That's way too synchronistic. If you're making magic, whatever you touch turns to gold and you manifest like the powerhouse you truly are. Yes. If you're pure passion, do some soul searching to find your true purpose. You have a special mission to fulfill. This, that, that is 100%. I heard Beauty and the Beast. 100% that's Beauty and the Beast. I, I just got chills. Hold on. High tides. You may be feeling swamped. But the shore is within sight. Just keep swimming along. Okay, there's a lot of energy right here. So, oh my god, what, did, what was I going to say? Okay, sorry, hold on. Just give me a moment. There's so much amazing energy in your space right now. Um, there's something about freeing a fortune. There's something about freeing a fortune. It's, it's freed. A fortune is no longer trapped or attached to something there's a fortune of yours um that was trapped in the thought or the or the energy of um my only fortune is through a corporate job my only fortune is through um making music my only fortune is through whatever there's some kind of fortune here that is or was attached to an energy that you have freed like you freed the fish from the bowl and now your fortune is flowing in all different areas of your life and you're open to receive the many forms of abundance right now because there are different forms of abundance that is coming to you and these many forms of abundance they're all going to go through the doors that you have casted so imagine like imagine a fixed door that you cast it out and you casted it out from this dream okay so you are here on this side so this is the fixed door right here you're on this side and you're casting you're casting that door out on the other side of the door is this sorry is this so you have fortune coming in and you have yourself on the other side getting ready to receive it. That's the way I'm seeing this. Because you, whatever you touch turns to gold and you manifest like the powerhouse that you are, magician. The magician that I saw in the mirror. So this is your overarching energy. This is how your energy is playing out right now. 
I can't for the life of me remember what I said, so maybe it wasn't really that important. <laughs> what I was going to say. Um, maybe it'll come back. Let's get into some of these tarot cards. Oh my god, I feel like we're just scratching the surface of your message, though. Because there are some serious... Um, it's interesting because it says easy does it but there's nothing easy about your journey there's nothing easy about what you're doing it's interesting because something feels easy now whereas before it felt really hard so you could apply this to just your life or your journey in general like your life your your journey was just so hard now it feels a little bit easier now it feels seamless now it feels it feels easy if manifesting was very hard for you manifesting is going to be easy it's almost like the, it's this magician in the mirror that you've integrated because it's no longer a separate aspect. I feel like it's your perception that this magician was a separate aspect from you. I don't know why you perceived that. Or you thought it was like such a far-fetched energy. It was such a hard-to-reach place when really it was within you the entire time. In t the entire time in the mirror. That's a really big part of this. I, the fish again. Like you can't make this up. You can't make this up. You also have the phoenix. Which is also here. See that phoenix color? Is right it's this phoenix energy is the the force of this dream it's the life force of this dream we're gonna get to, to that in just a minute here you have fish here three times fish represent prosperity abundance and good luck this is such an incredible omen like this is a good omen this is also representation of pisces season so you may notice that a lot of your of what you are dreaming or conjuring, creating, wishing, dreaming is going to be coming this Pisces season. You're going to make some magic this Pisces season. There's no coincidence that I felt so guided to do your reading now. Now. Something feels now. Because the strings have been cut. There's no attachment there's nothing holding this back. You've released it. You've cut it. And there is some um, dis like distress in the eyes. There's tears in the eyes. As you let go, as you detached, as you healed the traumas, the wounds, the, per the false perceptions or the illusions of what was holding this back for you. I, I can't help but keep feeling like you you thought that your abundance was in one space and one space only like this is the only place that I can get abundance this is the only place you let go and it was not easy to let go It was not easy but you did you did it someone also has a koi fish tattoo i'm seeing that someone has a koi fish tattoo i feel like the fact that like because usually i'm really good at just like if I don't remember something, I'm like, oh yeah, that's fine. It'll come back to me later. It's not a big deal. But I feel like this not remembering is part of you. I feel like it's re it really started to bother you. Take a toll on you. That 
you had so much trouble remembering who you are. It's like, why can't I just fucking remember? Why can't I just remember? Whatever you let go here, and we'll get more into the tarot and unfold this. Whatever you let go, it assisted in the memory of remembrance. Easy does it. What was hard to remember is easy to remember now. What was hard to remember is easy to remember now. And you freed it, the phoenix. And so it is, it resurrected. That being inside of yourself, the co-creator, archetypal energy, your soul purpose, your special mission, the true song of your heart, your true passions. Not just true passions, spirits saying no, they're pure passions. The purity of your passions is what's fueling this dream, is what's fueling your magic. It's what's fueling you right now. And it's coming easy. It's coming easy. They're also saying easy does it because there's a lot of high tides right now. I feel like this is also why I feel like I'm talking like this. I'm usually kind of amped up when I do readings, but I feel like I need to be calm because if I feel this for what it really is, I am going to combust. And I feel like this is how you feel because there is so much power. There is so much energy, but my God, is it tempered? It is tempered. It is deliberate. It is intentional. And it is directly focused on where it is that you want to go. That's you casting out the door. You've casted the door you made this door. The universe didn't do it. God didn't do it. The goddess didn't do it. The moon didn't do it. The stars didn't do it. You did it. You made the magic. Because whatever you touch turns to gold and you manifest like the powerhouse that you truly are. I feel like that is this collection of wholeness that you're feeling here because that's also this fuel that's this powerhouse this phoenix like life force energy that's giving this dream life it's the force it's the cast it's the energy that is casting out the door for the fortune to be received unto you and for that dream to be casted and birthed into place in your present moment easy does it now but it wasn't easy before and that's okay that's part of the journey right Oh my god, I I don't know if that's a crow, but here's the sun. Oh, it's the eight of wands. Okay, that's what I saw. I was like, is that the crow? It was a crow, damn it. I saw the crow at the corner of my eye. <laughs> it's just it's it's a lot. It's it's a lot of energy. It's a lot of fast moving energies. This is, this is magic. The, the crow is a symbol of magic. The crow is a symbol of past, present, and future energies. All in one, all collided. You hear the daughter of cups. It's interesting because that eight of wands is that high tide. Give me a moment because I feel like what I heard was place the door right there. 
because remember it's a fixed door wow you can't you cannot you cannot make this up you have here the five of pentacles fell just like that right on top of the fish with the fortune what is five of pentacles lack consciousness lack mentality thinking that you don't have enough or struggling with finances five of pentacles loss of finances past burdens financially This could have been just a simple, but not so simple, perception of mind. An illusion that you didn't have enough. An illusion of lack mentality and lack consciousness. That you are not abundant. For some of you, this could have been what your life was for the longest time and you, you wanted abundance and fortune and just the means just to get by without struggling it's just financial freedom financial freedom i just need a little bit of help and you hear all these readings of you can manifest a thousand dollars you can manifest ten thousand dollars you can manifest a million dollars you can manifest winning the lottery and you're just like yeah that's not happening for me so fuck off there's tears in her or his eyes releasing this energy because to you, it means something. It's a struggle. To manifest like this is such like an honor for you. It's like it's something that you're really proud of. It's something that you have always dreamed. It's like you hear it all the time. And you are I feel like that's where this frustration came from. Where you're just like, I hear it all the fucking time. And I'm doing it. And nothing's happening. You know, this is where I, oh, my shoulders are tense. Oh God, I can feel the tensity. Um, this is where I get very, very passionate and where, um, you know, I do take responsibility and I do, I'm very much aware of what's out there. And I always say, be careful who you watch, be careful who you, who you listen to, even me. If you don't like me, if you don't resonate with me, don't watch me. But sometimes people put out their false hope and there are real people out there that have real struggles, that have real life shit that they got to deal with five of pentacles and this is part of my purpose to empower you part of my purpose is to um provide you with the gifts of understanding energy so that you can utilize that tool to your benefit This is such an important part. And I know it's hard. Whatever you're holding on to, whatever lack mentality that you're holding on to, whatever energy that you are in disbelief of, you have to let that go. You have to let that go in order to free the fish from the bowl in order to free your abundance and to free your prosperity. You have to let it go. Lack mentality, lack consciousness, I don't have enough, I don't have enough, I don't have enough. That talk needs to go. I know it's hard because for some, that's your reality today. And that's why I can see the tears in your eyes in this card. And it's not easy to disconnect from that. Because that is what you see. But what you feel inside. You see all the yarn. You see that heart. That pure passion. You feel something inside of you. 
something big. You feel a special mission. You feel your true purpose. You feel something pure inside of you that you want to create. You're like, I have all this yarn here, yarn. But what do I do with the stupid yarn? What do I do with the yarn? What do I do? I can cut it. I can sever ties. Okay. I can do that. We can let go. But when I let go, I have strings now that I can create. So how do I attach it? How do I attach it to something else? How do I move that energy to something new to create? How do I do that? How do I do that? How do I do that? The magician in the mirror. I want you, and I'm being completely candid right now, don't listen to any manifestation techniques. Don't listen to any manifestation frequencies. Don't stop. The only person that you need to be listening to after this reading, okay? Take a break from tarot. Take a break and just spend time with yourself. You be with your magician because you are integrating with this co-creator archetypal energy right now, Aries. And you're not just manifesting money. You're not just manifesting prosperity. You are manifesting magic to the point where you are remembering your true purpose and your soul mission. It's a special mission. That's what you're going to remember. You need to be by yourself. You need to learn how to use the yarn to cast out. To cast out the doors. And that is this crow. That's why I was just like, man, is this this crow? Because sometimes lately, lately, the crow says, don't listen to anything external. Listen internally. What are you saying to you right now? Because you have the answer. See this iridescent globe, orb? You possess the answer. Not, you not only possess the answer, but you possess the magic. You possess the energy. You possess the dream. You possess the life force. You possess the magician. It's inside of you and that is what you are integrating with. So this integration of the magician for you in this new cycle is so important. And I feel like for some of you, it was so hard. For some of you, it is hard depending on your timeline. Some of you could have already disconnected. Like you, some of you are casting doors. Some of you are still in lack mentality. Some of you, you've already taken that advice of not listening to anybody and listening to yourself. Take this message however you need. You know your timeline better than anyone, better than me. People want change. People want abundance. I'm telling you how to get it. I would love to rip this card up right now. That's how I feel. You have to let go. You have to look within. You have to connect and merge with your magician archetypal energy now. Now. Believe. Believe. See it. The crow sees it. Sees the fortune. It sees. You know what the crow sees? It sees the bowl, uh, the fish. The crow sees the fish leaving the bowl before the fish actually leaves the bowl. The crow sees it before anything happens. Let go. Merge with the magician. Believe that you are the magician. And then see the things that you want to create. 
see the things that you want to create. So we cut the string on that. Let's say that's cut. Again, that may have already been cut for you guys, depending on your timeline, or this is something that you're currently still working on how to do. So now we are, we've talked about that prosperity that you have unleashed, okay? You've released, released that attachment. You've released the fish from the bowl. And abundance is flowing through this door. Meanwhile, you are letting your dream, you're casting out your dreams. So you're casting out many things. Eight of Wands. You're casting them from your emotions too. You may be feeling swamped, but the shores within sight just keep swimming. Daughter of Cups. See, the Daughter of Cups is swimming easily through the high tides. There's something about your energy, and a lot of you are in this space. So a lot of you have already let go. Like what I talked about, some of you are already out of that space. And perhaps this is a confirmation that you are one with the magician. And you just needed this like confirmation like, yes, yes, I know I'm manifesting. I know I'm, I'm creating. I know I am the arch archetypal energy, the magician right now. It does feel easy. Yeah. So you're even moving easy through your emotions in this really high tide of time. And what's really fascinating, when I saw this Eight of Wands, I heard, where do you want the door? Where do you want the door? Because wherever you cast out that door, it's going to be fixed. Wherever you cast out that dream, the dream is going to find the door that it's like a, a match of energy. So imagine like the door possessing a particular kind of vibration that you have casted out from your very being. And the energy of the dream needs to match the energy of that doorway. So you're casting out fixed doors and you're casting out dreams. Where do you want the door? Here. Okay, boom, lightning. Three of swords at the bottom. I know it's been hard. I know, but easy does it. It's going to get easier. It's going to get easier. The lovers. I see the lovers. This is Gemini energy with the firefly. Wow, a spark. A spark. Okay, we're getting into your love. We're getting into your love. The golden egg, the swans, yeah, soulmate energy. Okay, let me just make sure I'm done with your spiritual growth because now I'm looking at the egg. And the egg is always like a little bit mysterious to me. It's always like a little bit of a mystery. You know what? I actually kind of want to read that. I, do I have that book? I do, right here. Let me read the golden egg for you. I just feel like I need to read it. Oh my god, it is. It's the lightning. The unstruck sound, which is lightning. And I said, boom. This is why I needed to read it. Where do you want the door? Boom. The unstruck sound over there. Within the golden egg lives a precious sound. Deep within that sound resides a message. The sound cannot be heard, nor the message discerned until we retreat from the noise of modern day life. And I was talking about retreating. Don't listen to anybody right now and just, you know, be with yourself. Listen to, listen to you. The magical essence of the golden egg needs warmth. I mean, we have that, right? 
We have that warmth from the phoenix. We have that warmth. Quiet and time to unfold. No rushing, pushing, or grasping. Easy does it, right? Find a place of deep and restful ease. Perhaps through yoga or meditation. If you, don't, if you do not yet have a meditation practice, take some time for some introspection or contemplation. When the mind begins to settle and the breath is calm, ask the question that weighs heaviest on your heart. Staying open to any response you hear. Engaging with the energy of the golden egg is an advanced practice. It requires becoming intimate with our very essence and comfortable with vulnerability. When a feeling of tenderness or gratitude arise from deep within you, know that you are well on your way. Your chest may swell like you are seeing an old friend that's been away for a long time. The Magician Listen to the message they've been waiting to tell you. I feel like that old golden egg wrapped everything up that we were channeling here for you. So before I get into love, before I get into love, because I feel like here someone may, um, okay, I'll get into love in just a little bit. Um, I want to, I want to get more messages for you because I love you guys. I want to, you know, be comprehensive and get as many details out as I can for you. Um, I also want to like relay something to you guys that magic doesn't have to look like one way. There are so many ways to manifest. I know like we want to look online and we are looking at all these people for help of like, oh, how did they did that? How did they do that? How did they do that? You already know. I mean, this is like, this is ancient energies that you have done in a past life that you have done and you have um practiced over and over again it's within you it's not a separate thing from you it's not a new thing at all and so i want to say like um, there are so many ways and unique ways to doing things and there's no one, there's no right, and there's no wrong way, and, you know, I didn't know what this was, for example, you know, me writing things down, it helped with my channeling, it, it, I didn't know that that was psychic writing, I had no idea that that's what that was called, but I felt drawn to do that, I didn't know that I could channel like that, but I felt like I, was drawn to a pen and a paper. How do you manifest? You can manifest doing anything. Um, like there are infinite ways to create. And I want to say this message to you guys because I have a responsibility and I feel like it's part of my purpose to let you guys know that it doesn't have to be complicated and you don't have to seek external answers that the answers are within you and that's why the golden egg is here and that's why I gave the advice that I gave because I'm like don't look outside of yourself look within yourself right now it doesn't have to be complicated it's very very easy it's very simple and it's honestly it's mostly within your mind space and your belief and that's why you know part of the most important thing is to release release anything that's holding you back release any um diseasiness in your life and confusion and sometimes when we watch other people or we, you know, get advice from other people, or we watch all these videos or tarot readings, and we're just like, my life isn't that. And it can get really fucking shitty in our head. 
And that's why, like, I want you guys to feel different after this reading. I want you guys to feel empowered, to listen to yourself, to be like, you know what? Maybe you create with fire. Maybe you write things down on a piece of paper and you burn them. Maybe that is your power. Maybe that is the way that you create and cast out your dreams. That's a way of manifestation. Who said it is? Who said it isn't? Why not? Why not? You can manifest with water. You can manifest with charms. These itty bitty charms. I've done it. I felt guided. These little things are magic talismans. No one told me. I just felt like they were. And so they were. And so I've manifested a lot with this. I've also prophesied the future with these. Magic can be whatever it is that you want. Magic can be whatever it is that you create it to be. That is your power. And don't let anyone take that away from you. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So I want to look at other messages for you. What else do you need to know at this time? Okay, so we're just going to get different stories. Okay. All right, so you have here the ostrich trap. It says closed-mindedness, feeling threatened, fear-based thinking, just a conspiracy theory, run for cover. So I don't know if this is attached to this Five of Pentacles energy that you're detaching yourself from, this fear-based thinking, or that's just a conspiracy theory that isn't real. I take it as it resonates, okay? But it feels like it's something that needs to be let go of. Um, I am seeing some kind of partnership regarding work, regarding business. Here with the tandem bicycle partnership, I'm seeing it regarding work. I'm also, okay, it also says hook up, so I am going to talk about this. Um, person here that I feel is life of the motherfucking party. All right, here they are, life of the party. You have an extroverted energy here i feel like this could be you but i feel like this is a person outside of you i feel like you hooked up with someone at a party or you may have met a very extroverted person at a party or some kind of celebration but this person does give me the energy that they like to drink they like to go out sorry they like to go out um, they like to have a good time and i feel like you know that's just what they're here for they're here for just a good time they were just here for a hookup they may send you some kind of message you know to hook up or um to go out with them to meet them with friends but i feel like um i feel like I feel like you want something more you want something else yeah so you may like end it with that person you're gonna cut cords um, you're going to set some boundaries with this person. It's just whatever this person is doing is just not working for you. I'm also seeing 5-5. Five, five. You do have here the yacht. I do see some kind of travel coming up for you. But see, this is great ease. Again, there's, there's a time of great ease for you coming, Aries. And we've been channeling this time of great ease for a few months now, I think more than six months, we've been channeling this energy for you where you have been in a really tough cycle. You, you, you are really trying to find your power. And I feel like we're all kind of, the energies are accumulating in this space today and there's ease that is coming. Okay, there is ease that is coming. I'm also really fixated on this blue energy. So I am seeing something with your throat chakra also open up. I see like you're more confident to say something or to stand up for yourself and to also speak your truth and your true power is coming out through your throat, through your voice and through the frequency and the tone of your voice as well is also shifting. Um... And this also says prosperity, and we talked about prosperity. And this prosperity that is 
um, you know, that is no longer attached to one particular thing is um, is moving through this fixed door that you have casted out with this dream that you've also casted out. And um, I feel like this prosperity is coming with comfort. There's something that is making you feel more comfortable in your life. Okay, I do see great ease and great comfort for you. I do see an opportunity to travel. You have here, no. No, so I am seeing like you're recognizing someone that isn't for you. This no is connected to this dear John energy where you may feel um, like a situation is strained, something's not working, this person's just there for a hookup. So I did mention like this person may ask you out or invite you and you say like there's some kind of response and you're saying no. I feel like it's more so to protect your energy. So um, I, I don't know if I said... Yeah, so we're getting into that now. So um, so your channeled message regarding love is that I felt like someone was praying for you. I felt like someone was praying for your peace and happiness. And here you have um, the diamond. So not only is this diamond, um, you know, connecting to this magician, creator, co-creator, archetypal energy that we were channeling in great detail, creative force, force faithfulness, invincible spiritual power multi-dimensional multi-dimensional dimensional i don't know why my words are tongue-tied now um unconquerable force um but i do feel like this diamond is also re representing um this light and purity of this prayer that i feel this lover has for you like they're praying for your peace and for your happiness and it is a lover you do have here the lovers with the swan coming out so i do feel like this is a pure soulmate this is a soulmate that you don't have an attachment with no strings attached so which tells me like you don't have any karmic you don't have any karmic um ties with them it feels like a tender connection that's just kind of, that's just coming in it's new there's no attachment to a past life that you've had with them um, but this no strings attached, it's also that hookup person that I feel like you hooked up with that you're saying no to now because, you know, they don't want any strings attached. They don't want any, um, they don't want any commitment. Okay. So I feel like that's also working in two different ways for me as well. So I feel like you're letting someone go that they don't want to commit with. You do have a spark with that person. That's where that firefly is, but the spark of the firefly is also like, um, you know, can easily go away. So I feel like you don't feel a spark with them anymore. Instead, you feel a light and a purity with someone new here that is coming in for you. And I feel like they're, they, they may be praying for you and they don't even know you. They're just, you know, praying that their person is, is feeling peaceful and happiness is something that I'm seeing here. Maybe this is your prayer that I'm seeing you have towards your person. You have here the yarn. I mean, there's so much like strings and, and attachments and like a lot of that in your space Aries. Remember how I was saying like you're learning how to use the strings and like moving them in a different correction, uh, correction, direction. I wanted to say, what is going on with my words? I was in my space. <laughs> um, correction. Okay, someone wants to correct their, someone wants to correct a problem that maybe that's a separate message, but I was mentioning like you're trying to figure out how to learn how to use the yarn to, to create and like direct, you're trying to move it in a new direction. You know, this is weaving energy. So you're learning how to do that for future gains is something that I'm seeing here. Um, Okay, so the fact that I said correction, I feel like someone wants to correct a mistake because it does say mistakes, a lot of problems. Yeah, but I feel like you don't want that. I feel like you're going to set a boundary. I feel like you've moved on, but someone here is like, yeah, you do have here 555. Five, five. So that tells me like these are connected. Actually, you have your 5555. Five, five. Um, wow, you have here a lot of change in your love, Aries. 
So I do feel like someone here may be um, desiring to correct a mistake, but I see like you've already moved on. You've already set something new in motion. It says begin and set in motion here, especially here with this eight of wands energy. So you've set a new love intention in motion into the universe. Um, and I feel like that is also what you've casted out. And that's what's also coming in for you. And I feel like it's a soulmate that, yeah, it's coming in now. It's a soulmate that um, you don't have any past life connections with. It's just a new love. Um, you have here, it's time. It's time for action. Things are fast tracked to unfold quickly and smoothly. So yeah, you've definitely set this new soulmate in motion and it's 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 time now. So I feel like that's why you, you're not really focused on this person. Like even if they do correct their mistake, it doesn't really change anything for you is something that I'm seeing here. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, 51 minutes. Nothing. That's, that's nothing. Let's get into the tarot and see how this is unfolding for you. I hope this reading helped. I really, really do. Like, I really hope that um, I was able to empower you and help you understand the energy that you're possessing right now and the things that you may be feeling and going through. Okay, so this, the, the emperor just literally flew in my hands like this. Like, the, like, this is how I caught the emperor. Like, it just, like... <laughs> okay, so I'm seeing, like, someone is going to see you as a really great, great catch for them. Um, something may feel unexpected or come through quite unexpectedly. I mean, this is your energy, Aries. So you could be meeting another Aries. Um... But I feel like you feel, I'm also seeing like you feel very in control right now. And, and this is, this is amazing. This is number four, the emperor. I feel like the fact that you have said no, or you've created some kind of boundary to this person here that was just a hookup and didn't want any kind of commitment you feel like you've definitely taken control over that situation and that makes you feel very good. It makes you feel very confident. Um, and I feel like they're a little bit tense. They're a little bit anxious and, and stressed. They really do want to correct that mistake. But again, I feel like you're just really good that you don't really care if this person corrects their mistake or not. It, like you're no longer affected by it. Again, I feel like you have control over this and, um, that's what makes you really happy. You have here the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like you're going towards something new. Definitely something new. And you have here the Five, the five of Swords. So um, I just read energy. It doesn't matter. To me, I read energy. Like I like to hold the cards in the upright, um, but I read them either way upright reverse i i read the energy how it comes through i'm an intuitive reader in that way um you have here a leo energy you have here aries energy you have here libra at the bottom of the deck again i feel like um i feel like you're really confident where you are wheel of fortune you've definitely had setbacks and love here with the wheel of fortune i mean there's you the high priestess if you recall that crow energy and there's this empress with a bunch of other cards so we'll see what those are about you hear the empress and the emperor so again like i feel like you are making a really good match with someone i'm also seeing 34 43 that could be age for someone out there yeah, so this is your match. I'm also seeing a bride, 
a bride here with the veil with the high priestess. So someone may see you as marriage potential. This is number 23. I'm seeing 23. Someone sees you as marriage potential. And I feel like this is exactly the kind of energy that you are projecting. Because you are looking for that commitment here. You're looking for that commitment. That diamond is also a diamond ring to me. That could be a proposal of some kind here with the Ace of Pentacles and that diamond. Yeah, so you do have here the Seven of Cups. You have here the Ace of Wands. You have here the King of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. So I do see like some kind of future planning here with this person. Can I see this Five of Swords with the Sun? The Five of Swords is with the Sun, okay. Oh, the five of swords with the crocodile and whatever this energy is the three of swords okay with the vulture at the bottom so this does talk about an energy that is is leaving you so you do have here the five of swords twice it's an energy that you are cleaning out especially here with the vulture it's an energy um that is being processed out yeah Processed out so that you can feel optimistic about your love life here with the sun. So I feel like for some of you, you may still be in a place where you're healing your heart. There still may be some residual pain. I feel like you're cautious, you're confident, but you're cautious. I feel like you're very much in control, but you're also cautious. I feel like you really, really understand like the energies within your heart space. They're being seen like the crocodile. The crocodile is representing of, of these energies, these five of swords energies, the pain with the three of swords. The vulture sees the crocodile energies because it's, it's almost like these energies want to lay low. In your heart space like yeah i've been hurt yeah i've been hurt it's almost like watering them down but the vulture like sees them for what they really are and you're just like no it's painful it's painful they gotta go they're on their way out so i do feel like um by putting yourself out there i feel like you are um recognizing some of the residual pain from past relationships or maybe even like recent past relationships but as soon as they start to transmute and transform here with the vulture, they end. There's um, more optimism in your life about, about your love here with the sun. I do see um, that you are seeking marriage for this group that I'm picking up on. This is like you're, you date for marriage. You date for commitment. Like you don't date for you know, the sake of dating is something that I'm seeing here. So I do see you meeting someone. They do see, seem like your match here with the emperor and the empress. I see some future planning. I see that they're emotionally intelligent. They have a high emotional IQ. I said ace of wands. This is the page of wands. That's interesting. Um... I'm also seeing that some of you may get some kind of good news, but this is also an action from this King of Cups. But I'm seeing some kind of good news regarding a job offer here with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, you were uh, an applicant amongst many here with the um, Seven of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. You are an applicant of many. And I'm seeing like you're being you're being chosen because this crow looks as if it's looking at the victory. Oh, right here, sorry, the victory, the victory cup. So there's something that you're um, going to be feeling very victorious, like as if you're winning, as if you're winning. And I also feel like you have this energy regarding um, 
your love life as well like you're when you meet this person it's almost like you feel like this is it like i i won kind of thing i know that seems a little strange but that's that's what i'm feeling it feels like a victory it feels like a victory because you've conquered the pain you've conquered the past you've conquered the lessons we did see that um justice card the lessons is something that i am seeing um, let me get you a final oracle card and then we'll close your reading for Aries. You have cornucopia in the reverse. So the cornucopia reverse is often a card of personal frustration. You may find yourself feeling discouraged by having your wishes denied, or perhaps you're just disappointed with the delays involved. Don't be surprised or too disheartened if obstacles seem to block your way. It may simply take some patience and persistent actions, or it may require a radical shift in how you, you're approaching your goals. This card reverse may indicate a cycle of restriction or a period of lack or loss we talked this is spirits just going all the way back to the beginning of our message don't let this deter you use this time to go deeper there may be a lesson to learn or an entirely new direction to take be open flexible and aware remember there are many roads to happiness and this is everything that i talked about in your spiritual growth there is not one way of creating magic there is not one way of manifesting of law of attraction of creating the life that you want there's no one there's no right or wrong road um there's many and that is your reading today so aries i love you guys thank you so much for being here with me just a few housing items um i am now open for personal readings there is about a five to six month wait list so just put in the request please read the instructions carefully that i've laid out um, before you make your request and i will um, get to your reading in divine timing um memberships are also open on this channel you just need to click that button join and um, i do weekly readings for the members weekly readings for the members every wednesday um and you want to select the crow the crow of the akashics and shadows um bundle if you want to um get those readings okay every week um i think that's it thank you guys so much for being here with me i love you guys so very much and i hope that this reading has empowered you today bye